Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to take an eye now and make it look like a cat's eye. That's kind of a narrow thing. It's mostly about using the mesh warp tool, which we're going to use to do this. But also it means that you can use the same principles in reshaping eyes to whatever you want them to look like. Maybe to correct some things and so on. So, first of all, we're going to get a shape here. We're going to set up a kind of an overlay just to help guide where we move this to. So we're going to go down here, right click there and go to the ellipse tool. And then we're going to do that kind of pointy thing, just roughly shape the eye here. But it needs to go to a point at the top here. So I'm going to do a convert to curves. Nothing seems to happen until I go to the node tool here. Then click on one of the, the node at the top there and convert to a sharp up here. And there we go. And click the bottom, convert that to a sharp. There we go. And now we've got the cat's eye shape. We can reposition this if you want to get that just about in the right place. Now then I'm going to select the background and go down here to the mesh warp tool and start putting in points where we want to move. So we're going to first of all look at the points we want to move. So I want to move this one into here. I want to move this one here upwards to here. This point here down to here. And this point here. And so you click once in each of these, you get a circle, click twice, it gets the line. Now then, if I start dragging things like this, then the whole thing moves. So I want to put a, a point outside that so that bit in between will stretch it. So let's put one about there and one about there. And for this, I'll put one about here and for this one, one about here. Let's see how that works. So I'll take the point here, move that down to here. And I need to bring this up here. So I need to bring these up to point in the directions there at the side of that. Then do the same to the other end. Drag this point up here and bring those down. Then bring in the point here. You can see the, with the protection point up there, only the bit between here and there is going to be affected. So I drag that one in there. And that means this here. Maybe I could bring this one in as well. That will get a better shape into that. And this one here to bring that one in to there, then this one in to the edge, and then this one in here, and this one in about here. Now then, if I turn off the show mesh, and then turn off that eye shape there, does that look about right? If necessary, I can sh put, click on show mesh again, and then just make some final adjustments as I need to, either with the the points here or with any of these points here to move this around. Now, generally, if you do it one side, you're probably going to need to do it the other side just to keep it symmetrical. But that's going to give you the way to do that. And when you're done, hit apply. So there you go. That's a cat's eye. Thank you very much for watching.